Good morning, my loves. It's Natalia on Monday morning. And as usual, we go live with the angel messages for the week. So I hope you're doing well. I hope um, you've had a fantastic weekend. And most of all, I hope you can join me live. And if you can't, don't worry, because there is the replay available. Um, and it, actually, if you're watching the replay now and I don't say hello to you, please don't be upset. It's because I can't see you because I was live and now I'm not. But do keep commenting because the exciting thing is I wrote to Facebook um, just to say I can't see my comments from my followers. And um, miraculously, the next morning, the feature had been re-enabled so I could actually see the comments again. So I think it just must have been when they did their new update, um, my page got affected by that. So anyway, I'm back. I can see your comments, so comment away, my love. Now I can see that I have stars already from Christiane Cotterell. Thank you so much, my love. You are a sweetheart. You are a gem. And Elaine Sagar has also sent me stars too. Thank you. Now, can I just say as well, oh Vladimira, thank you for the stars, my love. Um, if we can, um, if anybody would like to send me stars, that would be wonderful. You will see the little stars icon at the bottom of the screen if you're watching uh, on a phone, on a mobile device. Um, and we are so close to the stars um, goal. I only have to get another, what, two and a half thousand? 2,600 um, and something. So if you'd like to, to send me some stars, that would be wonderful. Because once we do that, I'll be doing a special live reading for you all with the Enchanted Spell Oracle deck and the Queen of the Moon Oracle. That are the new decks that I bought with the money from the stars. So how good is that? Okay, so let's, um, let's say hello to everybody who's joining me live. So we've got Astrid Twig, hello beautiful lady, Marianne Lagerka is here, Jane Narber is here, um, Julie Hans is here, good morning Julie. Um, Lucy Blackster is here, Angela Davis, thank you so much for the stars, Nicole South, thank you so much for the stars too, you're, you're a blessing. Um, let me just scroll back. Jackie Cotter, good morning. Ruth Elizabeth, good morning. Gemma Crow, good morning, gorgeous. How are you doing? Lucy Blackster, hello, lovely. Um, thank you for the stars, Marianne. You're so kind. I really appreciate your, your generosity. Um, Jane McGuinness, good morning to you. Ashling Fitzgerald, good morning. Omsai Krishna is watching. Hello. Hello to Sue Stainer, to Denise Lannan. Chrissy Bonacorsi, how are you doing, lovely? Uh, let's see, Colleen Ann is with us, bright and early for you. Shell Javak, good morning, bright and early for you too. Patsy Peters Alders here, Carolyn Cartman Weinman, oh gosh, so many of you. Christiane, I, um, I spotted you earlier, hello darling. Oh, good evening to Robin Steele, to Angela Davis, to Julie Kubiak. Leslie Townley's here. Thank you, Nicole South and Vladimira for the stars again. Janine Smelt is watching, as is Barbara Phipps and Freddie Threlfall. <laughs> I always <laughs> need to say your name right. Freddie Threlfall, there's F's and F's. <laughs> um, Jackie Cotter, did I say hi to you? Oh, there's so many comments. I'm scrolling like crazy. Scrolling, scrolling. Let me get back to the beginning. Sue Coleman, good morning, darling. How many years is it since we did that course together? It's a long time, isn't it? Cookie McDermott's here, hello. Julie Hindmarsh and Lucy Blackster, thank you for the stars. Shelley Barnes, good morning. Heather Jones, good morning. Julie Hindmarsh, good morning. <laughs> thank you for the stars. Oh, I think we got our, I think we got our um, goal, our target. Yay, thank you so much. Susie Skavaka, um, good morning from Quebec to you. Good morning, Nancy Zimmerman. Thank you for the stars, darling. Sue Deriu, hello. Audrey Mayer, hello. I have a beautiful butterfly. This is part of the um, the choices this morning. Do you like them? I've been going a bit nuts with the buying Christmas decorations. Um, Karen Williams, Sherry Barnes, Sandra Serena, Athena Noct Noctua, 
uh, Karen Williams and 44 watchers, Nicole said, South said, as I got my goal. Yay! I think that deserves a sip of coffee, don't you? Cappuccino. Little cappuccino cheers to you. Hopefully you have a nice beverage at the side of you. Depending on what time of day it is where you are, you might have something a little stronger than, than I have. Mmm. Oh, do you know what? If I do say so myself, that coffee is stunning. I have a Tassimo machine. It's called Tassimo My Way. It's absolutely brilliant. I can't, I can't, um, I, I do not work for Tassimo. I have shares in the company, but I can tell you now, I, I, if anybody wants to buy a coffee machine, that's the one. You want to get that one. You can change the strength and the temperature of the coffees and you can set a little program as well. So I have all my favourite people programmed into it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole South, I know what you're drinking. I think Ribena, as the song goes. So, um, we have our beautiful items, our objects this morning. Um, so you can see if I go from left to right, we have a beautiful angel. Let me just bring her forward with the little feathers inside. Isn't she cute? She's holding a star. So that is number one choice. Then we have our gorgeous butterfly with the jewels. Now I've got these from the range. If you have the range near you, get yourself down there because I've got all the Christmas decorations. Um, I know it's a little early. It's a little early um, I, and you know, I'm not a person who's a big fan of Christmas, I have to say, but Christmas decorations are so great for your altar, for your sacred space. And then this is like um. Sputnik or it's it's just like a starburst. I love it. Isn't it beautiful? So that one is number three. I think you're going to be spoilt for choice this morning. I think you're going to really struggle with your choices. I like to make it difficult for you. I do like to make it difficult. Norma Carroll is watching. Good morning. Vladimir is saying she's got a golden gusto machine and she loves it. Um, and you're going to see your friends for coffee. You can't wait. Anna is here. Hello, Anna. How are you doing, my love? Right, shall I get on with the reading then? Enough of that. Talking about coffee, me. I could talk about coffee for days. Heather Jones, thank you for the stars. Cheryl Wilkinson, good morning. Oh, do you know what? I need a, a lift. I need a bit of a boost this morning and a bit of a chat because I've spent all weekend on my own. I have been very busy though. If you've been following my Instagram page, I've got two Instagram pages. You might follow the normal one. And you might follow um, the uh, the one that's by Natalia99, which is my angel one. I've got a home one. So it's Natalia underscore home. Check it out. Check me out. Because I just post lots of pictures of what I'm doing in my house, to be honest. Because I'm mad on doing interior decorating and decluttering and cleaning and all of that kind of stuff. Moon, I'm going to blame Moon in Virgo for that trait of mine. Cleaning and organising and things. So um, if you if you want to uh, follow me on Instagram, do so. But I've been super busy this weekend. I cleared out all of the drawers in my dressing table and it felt so good. And I just was so super busy because we've got to keep busy, haven't we? Otherwise, I'd just be sad. I'd be sad because my daughter's gone back to university. I took her back on Friday and uh, I cried all the way home from Liverpool. Oh, I've done that trip so many times with with a big wet handkerchief on the side of me. <laughs> oh dear. But anyway, um, my therapy is always cleaning and decluttering and painting and decorating. So if you want to follow along with me, you can um, have a look at that Instagram page. Mm. And more coffee, lots of coffee to chase the blues away, eh? Um, Kelly Lyons is watching. Susan Clark is here. Good morning, ladies. So Julie Kubiak's got her slow cooker on, and she's making buff bu bourguignon. You wanted to have a cheeky sniff, sniff, <laughs> sip of the wine. I can't say it. Breeder Kenny. Good morning. Well, you know what? Why not? It's you know it's five o'clock somewhere, Julie. Um. Now. Who else did? Oh, Lucy Blackster's having herbal tea and you've already had your coffee. So you kind of coffeed out for the day. All right. Okay. Um, Robin, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. All right. Shall we get on with the reading now? I am 
like blathering on because I've not spoken to a soul in two days. So you're going to have to put up with me being a little bit hyperactive. Um, and Julie Heinmark's look, look, looking after hedgehogs. That's so beautiful. You are so lovely doing that. Janet Creswell, good morning. Okay, so what we've got here with the blue cards is we have the Angel Tarot deck. Let me just grab the box there. So that's the like Radley Valentine. And um, thank you, Gemma. Big virtual hugs to you as well. So these angel cards represent um, the beginning of the week, the middle of the week and the weekend. And this second card represents the full moon in Aries. So do we have any Aries in the house? I know Gemma Crow's in Aries. In fact, Gemma, your birthday is the same date as my sister's birthday. Um, so we're like soul sisters. Diana Quillen's watching as well. Good morning. So we've got the full moon in Aries on Thursday. I have um, Aries rising. It's my ascendant sign. So I'm kind of looking forward to this full moon. Um, and so we've got Libra energy. The sun's going to be in Libra. And then we've got the full moon in Aries. So Libra's all about balance and beauty and harmony and la, 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 la. Let's keep it all, you know, compromise and balance and beautiful. And then we've got Aries, which is ruled by Mars, which is all go-getting and fiery and determined and let's start a fire, let's start a fight <laughs> sometimes. So we're going to be flipping and flopping between those two energies. So that's going to be interesting for that full moon. It's going to make us have to be assertive, but in a very graceful way. Okay, so before I, I, I turn these cards over, Archangel Jophiel is going to be around us a lot over the coming month because um, she is the angel of Libra. So let's just see. Diane McQuillan, thank you for the stars, darling. What is the energy surrounding us for the beginning of the week? And we have the hard work card and the challenge card. So this is the page of earth. So this is all about, we could earn some good money as we start out this week. This is a start as you mean to go on kind of a card. This is about offers coming in. So somebody might offer you a pay rise. Somebody might offer you a job because the pages are messengers and when they come along especially with the page of earth they bring messages about money um, and so it's really important for you to be open to those offers you might with with the full moon being in Aries and the sun being in Libra you might need to re renegotiate terms or get your contract sorted out so it's fair and just and have to assert yourself so there's all of that um, but yes, it can be a really good start to the week in terms of challenging yourself, of really, you know, thinking about what's my value, up in my value and claiming my value. So don't just snatch at everything that's offered to you. Just open the negotiations, open the discussion about your value. Um, this also is um, a harbinger of something to do with challenging yourself, stretching yourself in, in some way. So it's a very career orientated card. So whatever, even if you don't work, you know, it's what you do with your time and how you can stretch and challenge yourself and make yourself more valuable and take up any offers that are presented to you at the beginning of the week. So look out for that. Have you seen this beautiful card holder that that beautiful Gemma Crow made me? Isn't it gorgeous? It's so lovely. I just love it so much. Okay, so our second card represents the full moon in Aries on Thursday. So what is that full moon energy bringing to fullness for us all collectively? What are the energies here? Well, this is really interesting because the seven, number seven, is all about purpose. It's about destiny. It's about being on the right path. And these unicorns, if you see them, they're going around in circles. So... There may have been something that you've been circling around, you know, you've just been kind of going round and round and round, not really getting a result. Well, this is the week that things could really come to fullness in terms of finding a solution and breaking out of this pattern or cycle. So if you're in bad habits, if you're in negative thought patterns or certain thought patterns that hold you back and you know you never feel free from them, you always feel like I just always end up here thinking this way or doing this taking this action, that is what this card is saying to you, that the cycle is going to be broken big time. 
and then you are free to pursue your destiny. So something can come to fullness in terms of a pattern that has been, um, you know, the timing just was off for it. You tried to make it work. You tried to make it happen. And it needed something like a fiery full moon in Aries to really break you out of um, just being in this, this kind of drudgery, this cycle. It's coming to an end. It's coming to a close in a, in a really big way. So any of you Aries out there, Aries, sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, this could be a game changing full moon for you. It's bringing things to completion of a cycle. And then you know when a cycle is complete, we have a new one because nothing is ever over. We just get another new beginning. Um, so if, you're, if you've been resisting change for a while, the full moon in Aries is saying to you, you can't resist it anymore because it's coming. It's being enforced upon you and you're going to love it. You are going to love it because it's going to set you free. Okay, so our third card represents the weekend. And oh, look at all this. It's keeping us, keeping us grounded this week. Um, and any defeating thoughts or limiting beliefs or anything that's held us back energetically or mentally, that's going to be broken. The spell's going to be broken. So as you get into the weekend, Oh, yes, um, it, it is the, fir the first um, Robin on Thursday. Yes, so it is the, the brand new month as well. We have the, the Knight of Earth. And this is all about loyalty and dedication. So what are you loyal about? Who are you dedicated to? What are you dedicated to? Once you decide what it is that you're breaking a cycle around, once you accept an offer or you decide to move forwards with something, you're going to put your feet down, you're going to put your roots down and you're really going to move in a very determined fashion towards whatever that is. Um, so it's time, my darlings, it is time for you to accept these changes, for you to move forwards and things aren't going to burst into life in a really dramatic way. It looks as though you're going to be able to slowly edge yourself closer and closer to where you want to be. It may take a while. This has been a very, very um, interesting year for helping us to reflect, but also for keeping our feet on the ground and helping us to look at what's important to us. And where do we where do we need to find that security? It's a year of security, isn't it? So, yeah, security is yours. Now, when it comes to love and romance, this can also indicate a person coming into your life or staying in your life. One of the two, or maybe both. So it can be somebody with strong earth energy and the earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they could be parking themselves up in your life and staying. Um, and they're going to be very loyal and trustworthy and dedicated to you. So this dedication, loyalty, trust, and we're figuring things out and we're breaking cycles. Okay, so those are our messages for the week. How beautiful are those? I really like them. And there's no drama. Um, there's no major arcana, which is the, the first sort of 23 cards in the deck, which means there's nothing majorly spectacular happening this week for the collective. So, phew, can we can mop our brows there with a bit of relief. Um, and so now I'd like you to choose your your object or your number. So we've got the... The beautiful angel holding the star with the feathers inside her body. We've got the, the lovely butterfly. And then we have the starburst, the number three. Butterfly was number two. So which one are you going for? I'm going to go for the butterfly myself this morning. I wasn't, do you know when I was putting them out, I was thinking, no, I'm definitely not butterfly. But the more I sit here, the more I feel like butterfly. Thank you, Kelly Lyons, for the stars. You're amazing. You are a star. Thank you so much. Okay, so shall we begin with message number one? Alrighty. I love her. I think she's far too nice to just go on a Christmas tree. She's just going to be on my table for the rest of the rest of the time that she belongs to me. Okay, so um, oh, let me just tell you which card decks I'm using, just so you know. I'm using my Oracle of Wisdom and Beauty deck, which are the yellowy orange ones. And the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. And thank you, everybody who contributed stars, because you bought these for the, for the group, for the page. 
and that's the blue one with the with the lunar phases on the back of them so let's have a look we'll read these together so they do have have um, a strong message when they are collectively um, joined up so we've got will so you can see that she's almost got like a, a ball of sunshine and she's just gazing at it and she's got a mask on and she's she's got the crescent moon on her head she's this is the the waxing um, gibbous moon so the gibbous moon is when you're nearly there you're nearly there at something and you just got to put all your willpower into it and just hold that thought hold your gaze and you've got all of this power manifestation power um, and then of course we have the grizzly bear the mama bear who's so powerful and bold and magical and fearless and she's got these are these are all her wishes this, these are all the things that she's the divine creator the mother so she's got all of this stuff up here that she wants to she wants to bring into her life and she holds the key here through her expression because she's got these three stars up here but the fourth star is the star that she's got at her throat chakra as her necklace has her talisman so this is a really beautiful message my love because we've got four stars on this card and then we've got the number four because one and three when we add them together is four and you have the will to succeed you are powerful and you have the, the ability to create something really rather special and it's all about you being bold enough brave enough being like mama bear protecting her young can you imagine you know she's there with a bear cub she's created this cub and somebody would dare to try and put the cub in danger or come and approach them and she's just going to unleash 300 pounds of hell onto them <laughs> and then there of course is this lady going you know i've got the will to succeed i hold that power in my hands and i'm nearly there i'm nearly there so whatever it is that you're wishing for or willing into life you can do this you're powerful be bold be brave you are magical and there is nothing to fear okay because you're the grizzly bear everybody's going to be frightened of you just you know roar and put your big bear claws up and they're gonna you're going to be able to chase away any any born or anything that would dare to try and um detract you from your goals and your dreams so you got this this week that's what your angel your beautiful angel it's telling you there okay right so let us see what the message is if you chose the lovely butterfly so butterflies are about transformation aren't they um so let's see if there's anything particularly transforming in your life so our Queen of the Moon Oracle is creation. We've got a lot of um, almost, almost kind of um, synchronous messages here. So we've got this common theme of creation. So with this, this is the beaver moon. And look, she's got all these blueprints, these plans. And she's just looking out into the stars, into the cosmos. And then we have home. So we have the two um, giraffes there. So this can be about creating, you know, because we've got a blueprint. This is like, this is like the um, architect's blueprint drawings of a home. So are you trying to create the home of your dreams? I've certainly been trying to create a safe sanctuary, a beautiful space where I'm going to be spending a lot of time at home. So and it needs to feel, you know, really good to me. Um, so there is a, a strong message about creating the home, the safe place, the safe sanctuary that you feel at home in. And it's also about creating the life that you want. You know, who are the people? Who are the best friends? This could be a lover. This could be a mentor. This could be um, somebody who you want to, to have a really strong friendship with in your life if you're feeling a bit lonely. Or you're angels are saying you've got the ability to transform your life in any way you choose and you've got to decide what it is that you want so an architect doesn't just start building a house or you know throwing materials on the ground and you know building building it that way they have to plan they have to really carefully craft and construct this um, building 
it has to have a lot of precision because you know whoever is the the person who's putting the money into having the house built or if the architect's decided to design it himself or herself sorry or himself herself themselves then it's really important that they have a vision for what they're trying to create so you can have the home of your dreams you can have the life of your dreams and these cards are saying to you that you've got the ability to be the manifester of that to be the creator of that you're free to do that you're free to have what you want but you've got to get clear on what that looks like and you've got to get moving you've got to get busy building the life of your dreams build it and they will come so I have been rejigging my um, guest bedroom this weekend with the intention of having lots of people staying in it, obviously not at the same time because we're socially distancing, etc. But um, I have great hopes that I will have people coming and staying. Um, you can dream, can't you? And, you know, when you when you create something, it's almost like with that, that intention creates the momentum. And, and I truly believe that. I've seen it happen so many times. Okay. Let us have a look and see what your messages are. If you chose number three, which is the starburst, how beautiful is that? I just cannot get over how gorgeous these little decorations are. These are like perspex um, and this one's glass. It's gorgeous. So your messages are purity. It's just like a snowy landscape and then this snow moon up there, it's like winter and busy with the bee so okay i feel like the, the message here for you is she's got uh, almost like this um this piece of fabric over her head and covering her eyes so that she can't see so sometimes it's like sensory deprivation is so much more powerful that's why i always say when i do my readings um, if you ever order a reading with me, it's always a voice recording because it's so much more powerful to just hear the message rather than looking at cards. Even though we're looking at cards today, excuse me, <clears throat> we're, we're very visual here. But she's covered her eyes so that she's very much in her her mind and she's connecting with her inner thoughts. Um, and there, there is this frozen landscape. And there is this person who looks like they're dancing and they're just kind of giving themselves to this cold and this this icy wasteland they're accepting that life has thawed and sometimes you know when we have um the winter of our lives it's because or, or the you know winter is coming all the trees lose their leaves everything looks a little bit barren everything seems really silent especially when it snows have you ever noticed that how silent it is because it absorbs the noise and that's all about you just depriving your senses so that you can really feel into this time of being frozen, this winter, so that you can get this breathing space and you can decide how you want the landscape of your life to look when things have thawed out. See, at the moment, you could be really busy and you could be throwing yourself at everything and running around and putting yourself under a lot of pressure. And it's really important for you to, A, take a breath, take a pause, just kind of deprive your senses of everything that's going on around you. You know, sometimes we'll have music playing and then we'll be watching TV and we'll be texting somebody and um, we're doing all these things at once. And it's really nice to just stop and be peaceful and still and have some purity in our lives and to get rid of the busyness, the craziness, the noise in order to acknowledge how far we've come and what it is that we really want to get busy doing as we go into 2021 because we've only got three more months left of 2020 and you can start to um, imagine and reimagine your life and uh, and to purify your thoughts and to think about do i want to be as busy in 20 in 2021 as i was this year do i what do i want my life to to feel like i'm really gonna um connect with my senses rather than um, running around all the time and just being on this treadmill. So I think that there is a very much a message of needing to press pause from being busy 
and to just step into some purity, purify your life, detoxify your life. Because you are the star, you know. There's so many facets to you. And sometimes it is a case of seeing your life and seeing where am I not being able to shine, where am I not being allowed to shine, where am I dimming my light because I'm too busy and I never get time to do the things that really matter to me because I'm trying to cram everything in there. Interesting. That that third one is very much food for thought. And I think that that's something that you're being asked to marinate in and to really just think it over. Deprive your senses of having lots of noise going on and just maybe have some silence today and to just breathe into it and feel into what was that message for me there? What do I need to take on board and what do I need to not run like a bull at a gate at changing things but really need to start reflecting upon? Okay, my darlings, thank you so much for joining me this morning. It's been a pleasure to actually have somebody to talk to, even though you haven't, you've only been chatting to me through the comments. I can't hear you. It would be wonderful if I could hear you, wouldn't it? But um, thank you so much for the stars. If I haven't said thank you personally to everybody who sent me stars, I will make sure I go back through because I can actually see the comments now. I'm so happy. Um, and um, and thank you in writing with a, with a text. Um, now, I'm going to be live later with something new. I've got a little something new to share with you. And um, it's it's kind of a, a remaster of something that I've shown you before and it's absolutely breathtaking. So I hope you can join me then and um, have a little look at an unboxing. It's going to be fun. So it'll be about three o'clock this afternoon UK time if you're around then to share a little cuppa with me and to have a look, look at my new treasure. And um, there's free shipping on this as well, so you're going to love it. Free international shipping. Oh, yes. So take care, my loves, and um, sending you lots of love and angel blessings. And um, have a fabulous weekend. I might see you later on if you can join me. Bye for now.